It is harvest time again in the small crossroads community of Nickel Mines, where five years ago, a disturbed, guilt-wracked man from the area barricaded himself inside an Amish one-room schoolhouse and methodically shot 10 girls between the ages of six and 13, killing five of them. Little has changed outwardly in those five years. The old school was raised within days, replaced by the New Hope School, where about 30 students continue their schooling. At recess each morning, the children stream outside, swarming over a play set, shooting basketball, and most of all, playing a fast-paced game of baseball. Because of the shootings, there are few girls of a certain age. The parents of the shot children are mostly at peace with the happening, which is how they refer to the nightmarish morning of October 2, 2006. They say the emotional and monetary support the outside world heaped on them helped them get through it. Yes, life goes on, said a mother who had one girl killed, one injured, and another escaped from the schoolhouse. All four couples who lost girls have since had children. But the families go to great lengths never to lose memories of the lost girls. Most have a memory corner in their simple homes, filled with pieces of the girls' abbreviated lives. And on each's porch hang massive chimes, a memorial gift from the family of a former teacher at the school. Year-round, the slightest breeze brings the memories of five little girls to life. 